Welcome back to this second hour of Hereticus. And so I I have been informed that apparently the experience down at the Screaming Wheel Cantina was rather painful for the Ow! characters. <laughs> uh, anyway, um <laughs> so both Akalon and Tim are at the uh, the Medikai Center. Is there anything specific you would like to do there, or do you just let the the Medikai personnel do their thing? I would very much like to let them fix me. Yeah, I I <laughs> I imagine you would. Hmm. Uh, if if how long would it take for Aklon to be? Uh, has he already been healed of his wounds, or is he still being oh, treated? Oh, he's still he's still being treated. It'll it'll take a day, uh, or okay. at the end of the uh, the day he'll he'll. Uh, so at the end of 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 this day, the the medikai would roll his his first aid to, uh, or his extended care check to, um, to heal, um, Akalon. So it, okay, it'll it'll, it'll be enough. a while. So yes, and we're close enough to each other in the same sort of area that we can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Friends are fucking fantastic. Yep. You, you can't, ladies and gentlemen of the viewing audience, this is a service announcement. Uh, Lady Francesca's player has taken the idea of actually being hurt by something very badly. Ow! She doesn't like it. She doesn't want it to happen again. Not by truck! You know, <laughs> that's that's I'm a thing. I mean, no, 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 listen. So far, I've been torpedoed by a truck. I've had a vehicle that I was riding in crash into a building. We have uh, we have been um, uh, we have been flamer attacked by a witch. This is getting to be a very very bad habit. This whole thing is <laughs> no no no. Well, they, maybe these people are supposed to respect the emperor's authority, <laughs> and if they won't, I'm gonna. And if they won't, I'm going to make them pay. <laughs> I will. RESPECT MY AUTHORITY! <laughs> oh, so if we're assaulted by one more vehicle, we might be in a sort of Final Destination movie. Yeah! <laughs> well, the Tricorn, I'm sure the Tricorn is... Might, wouldn't survive if, you know, at least the GM decided to pluck an Imperial Capital ship out of the air and just <laughs> fling it at the hive, or... Hmm. I mean, let's face it. Considering, stop considering it, good ideas. Oh, he's got, he's got enough ideas that it is. Besides, if you... You should have thought about all that. You should have thought that if you were going to play a character who has so far been so bloody invincible to all the conventional firearms that's been thrown at it, that the storyteller would get creative with the various means of trying to kill them. She's been the, the crash would have killed her on its, on its own if I hadn't uh, actually burned a fate point. <laughs> yes, that's true. So much for invincible. Yeah, but again, that's the point. He had to get creative, and it did. He did so well. Anyway, let's see. Let's, I have only one thing to say to this. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> well, we respect. Well, it's good that you've let go. Had your you've voiced your opinion on the matter. Let's move swiftly on from this. Matter. I need I need yes. water. <laughs> you can have water. I think I think I broke Heine. Yes, you did. Yes, now, but in a good way. But it's your responsibility to fix them again, then. <laughs> I think he will handle that himself using yes. water. Yes. <laughs> anyway, um, if we can socialize, Akalon you can. And you can. Him, uh, Akalon will attempt conversation, assuming that um, Tim is in any position to do anything other than groan. Have <gasps> I been sedated? Oh, right, you have been sedated. Mm, well, um, is sedation a thing? Sedatives. Do they <laughs> exist in 40k? Oh, um, a, that is a good <laughs> question. Only for nobles I, and inquisitors, probably. I was about to say, at least the nobles would have it. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Then the Inquisition would as, as well. So uh, the Inquisition is the Inquisition. So uh, yeah, you've you've been. I think they they would at least have offered some kind of sedative. I think in this position, Tim will have accepted. And it's it's the sedative is 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 created in such a way that it doesn't dull your senses. You can still speak, um, but the the specific areas where they need to operate or do their thing um, are, of course, sedated or 
Um, yeah, so it's local yeah. anesthetics, yes, basically. Exactly. In, in localized anesthetics, in his case, in 50 different places around his body. Yeah, so so Tim is is fortunate enough to be able to, to follow along as they, they put his intestines back in, inside and, and all that. So, fun times. In that case, along the way, he will make a comment like, huh, so that goes there. <laughs> Well, consider it a learning experience. Now you know where to shoot someone in order to in order yep. to hit that specific part. <laughs> cold yes. shot liver, cold shot spleen. <laughs> cold shot left lung lower or left left heart ventricle. <laughs> yep. That sounds like a good one. That is very specific. It's the pet death case, of course, but mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh yeah, but you just have to hit between the fourth and fifth rib. Oh of yes. course. I Shouldn't be a problem that. for someone of your skills. Yeah, probably so, not. Anyway, um, Aklon will be will sort of look over at Tim while they're lying down, and he'll say, "This isn't going to become a habit, you know." And I mean that in the sense of being run over. No, I was thinking more in the sense of you trying to use me as a crutch for your, admittedly quite impressive. Uh, Sharpshooting skills, but yes, being run over, we we should certainly try to avoid that in future. Although I doubt that we'll be given much choice half the time. Well, <clears throat> don't worry about it. Usually, people breathe too vigorously to be good stands for shooting from. <laughs> 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 right. Yes, of course you're. Yes, not much of talking at the moment. Um, blobby dobbly blobbly. I, I mean, with all this chemical in me, the worst thing is a headache right now. If you make a joke of saying that headaches in any way caused by my speaking or my presence being here, I will get up and I will do something unpleasant that doesn't involve actually hurting any further because I don't think that would be very tasteful at this point. Hey, that was your idea. Mm-hmm. I'm just complaining. Well, you never know. I appreciate that you are <laughs> wary of me at times, but you know. I don't worry. If if you ever need to be put down, I'll make sure to do so from a, a non a distance where I don't get your brain or splattered all over me. Well, I've already told you that that's absolutely fine. But anyway, yes. Well, I wouldn't want you to worry about ruining my clothes. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Whatever we've stumbled on here is... Well, clearly it was important enough that they felt the need to cover their tracks quite spectacularly. Yeah. And what was with... What was with... Iriax being there. Hey, that's your area of expertise. You are the, the, the psycho. Yes. Being a psycho doesn't help identify uh, stuff related food. to psychers? Corpses. All I know is that there was a psycho, then there wasn't a psycho, and then when I sensed for other psychers, there weren't any other psychers, but due to the artifact, that uh, Sister Francesca recovered, she appeared to be a psyker, even though she wasn't a psyker, so I couldn't trust my psychic powers entirely, so... who knows? Well, not me. No, well, Maybe she that... has a long-lost twin sister. No matter what the explanation is, it's not going to be pleasant or easy to deal with. Well, I mean, I imagine I'll be staying here for a while, so if you deal with it while I'm not there, it's going to be quite pleasant for me. Mm. Well, it might be pleasant for us as well to be free of your sarcasm for a, few, for a week or so. Yeah. I mean, I, it's not like I'm particularly useful in these missions, right? He winks. Mm. No, no. You... Out of character comment here? Mm-hmm. He's not. He's. He's. He doesn't. He doesn't apply sarcasm. He's not. He's not sarcastic. 
Mm. He's taken it a step further. He is now snarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> snarcastic. Yeah, go on. Um, yeah. But either way, um, well, depending on what the uh, Inquisitor decides, we might be allowed to wait until you have recovered, or she'll simply attach a temporary replacement to the team until such time as you are available again. At least I suspect that's the case. Hey, you might get to work with Trina some more. Trina. Is it Trina? Ah, whatever. No, I think I think I think it behooves uh, Tim's character to have forgotten her name <laughs> during their relationship. I mean, I, he I imagine that he's kind of a bit, um, not necessarily because of the medication, more because he's been hit by a truck. <laughs> he's perhaps not thinking that clearly. Would Can be. you hear by saying that she makes him, you know, just thinking about her makes makes him all dizzy and lightheaded? No, I'm saying that that getting hit by a truck might have given him a concussion. Yeah, yeah. Tim and Trina sitting in a tree, <laughs> shooting people. Wee wee wee. <laughs> Do you pull out the pepper and shoot them with that? That's disgusting. <laughs> <sighs> Oh my. It's a wee wee wee. <laughs> it has to be a small pecker. <laughs> I, 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 I'm so tempted to say what I'm going to say, but you've already warned me that you'll get angry if I, um, if I use that nickname for this from Jessica again, so I can't. I'm for bad from doing so. Mwah. Mwah, mwah. Should anyway, I do it anyway, guys? No. No. I haven't, oh, actually, no. I haven't actually insulted you. I was insulting the shooter over there. True, but I was. No, it's fine. Anyway, um, Mac Long just sort of leans back again and just says, yeah. ah, That's no good speculating. We just have to wait and see what happens. Yes. So, Akalon and Tim spent the day being, uh, being taken care of by uh, various different right. medici milling about uh, Lots doing of, um, medikai gaunt, stuff. Lots of gaunt looking servitors in sexy little short skirts. <laughs> <and> <laughs> yeah. I yes. Like well, sick. Servitors is absolutely a thing. I don't know about their... Um... I, I kind of... I feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> um, and occasionally some uh, some medikai comes and, and takes notes on a data slate uh, asking you various questions about the accident or not the accident, the incident. Um, I was hit by a truck. <laughs> How hard is that to understand? <laughs> yeah. And could you go? In, could you go into some specific details, please? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What what model of truck was it? Yes, was it uh, and was those it those are actually the kind the, the kinds of questions they ask, um, among others. Um, but they they that hurt to run over <laughs> by it. I'll tell you one thing: even if it's before the first millennium, he might have been hit by a Ford Transit because those things are just going to be around. Yes. I was kind of thinking it would be a Volvo. <laughs> you Let's cannot, go. you cannot, you cannot wear down a Volvo. It's nope. just, you, no. It's the, it is the car equivalent of an AK forty-seven. You take apart a <laughs> Volvo, you dig it down into desert sands for two weeks, dig it back up, you put it back together, and it'll actually, the, the engine will actually fire when you turn the key in the ignition. <laughs> may I, yes. may I posit that we become immensely distracted from the issue of role-playing this particular <laughs> hour and that we're just enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. It's, Ladies it's and gentlemen good. of the viewing audience, this is a service announcement. We don't take things too seriously around here. No. No. But yeah, that's that's uh, how you two spend your day, being questioned and being healed. Um Akalon, at, at the end of the day, you're you're able to walk out of the out of the uh, the Medikai uh, center. Uh, with with full wounds. Yep. And so, yay for you. Um, meanwhile, probably, what yeah. were you saying? I was going to say, when I do get out, I probably promise to see Tim again as soon as possible and then make my way out to see if I can find... Oh, Jessica. you're going to miss my sarcasm, aren't you? Not really. Your but sarcasm, <laughs> yes. I'm not going to... No, I just, I just want to know that you're fighting fit again soon. And just just out of game, it, it won't be an entire week because this is 
um, probably some of the best medikai treatment you can get in the entire sector. Um, mm -hmm. So it'll be much faster than that, and you'll be also at full wounds. I, I imagine, let's say three days, and you'll be at full wounds. Um, nice little vacation. I just, I just can't imagine the Inquisition at the Tricon not having the the, the best possible uh, no. medikai facility. Mm -hmm. So I, I think. I think they probably stop, you know, one step short of actually having the occasional tech marine coming in as an intern. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You know, or or apothecary. Apothecary. Sorry, yeah. You know, yeah. Not not tech marine, but uh, apothecary. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just as intern, because <laughs> they might learn something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so so out of game, um, three days, and and Tim will be uh, be back in in fighting shape. So, but yeah, so um, meanwhile, while um, Akalon and Tim are in the uh, the medical facility, what is Sister Francesca doing? She's heading over to uh, to find um, uh, Ansel Mons. Ansel He's Mons. Well, he has turned out to be a very helpful kind of fella and and someone of of uh, indisputable uh, um, uh, authority around these parts mm -hmm. and consequently uh, i've i'm well, quite frankly i feel that he is a um, he, he's he's qualified he's he's eminently qualified that's the thing hmm. so she heads off to find him well, so um, uh, Ansel Mons has been attached to uh, to the Inquisitor, uh, her retinue, and so right. he has so his own. Not there. Well, he he has his own uh, station in her quarters uh, oh, in right. the Tricon. Um, th that's basically where the you, you, the uh, the torture session happened as well. Yes. Um, yes. So he's he's actually found there. So. All right. Um, well, she does obviously request access to him. She doesn't just wade in. He's he's he is an important person. Here. Well, as as soon as she 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 indicates her presence, he he lights up in a, in a smile and says, "Oh, do come on in, Sister Francesca." Thank you very much. Uh, I have a uh, medical quandary for you. Oh, well, two actually. She says and removes her helmet and wipes blood from her lips because oh, she that did get it. Good. Mm, it's I'm, I'll I'll live. Though that's not really the the big issue. She says and takes out the the um, the uh, Auspex again. Hmm. We came across a group of heretics in the Middle Hive, the ones that we've been pursuing. We found a a, a base that they were using in a. Uh, uh, in a in a CD bar, not to put it too fine a point on it, and they were all wearing masks like this one. She says and and hold or puts that down on the table. Um, we killed them, uh, the ones that were there anyway. <laughs> we don't know if there are more. Um, we found others. I'll be, I will be writing up a full report, obviously, for the Inquisitor because things down there are serious, but. The problem we have is that when we took off their masks, because I wanted to be certain I could re remember them, hmm. when we took off the masks, they were all clearly, you know, they were well nourished but fit people. They they looked like they were in, in excellent health right up until the point where we killed them. Hmm. Uh, in other words, they looked like they were part of the upper classes. They did not look native to the Middle Hive uh, and, and the general disposition of people in that area. Um, and I, I didn't have a picked recorder with me. I, am, I must shamefully admit I will make sure to get one for our next away mission. But I, will, uh, but I did take full scans of all of them. And I'm hoping that you, perhaps, with your knowledge on, and 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 access to medical files for Hive Sabellas, might be able to find out who these people were, because if they do, in fact, come from, let's just say, important families, then heresy has taken hold in the upper ranks of Hive Sabellas, and that is obviously a very serious matter. Hmm. Indeed it is. There's another problem. Mm -hmm. Also of a medical nature, at least in part of a medical nature. 
she says, and finally puts the corpse that she's got hanging over her shoulder down on, if there's a gurney or something in yeah, there. Yeah, so there's you know, a table. Uh, right. She puts, uh, she puts uh, the, the sad remains of Alvena down on that. This woman I have just seen and spoken to in the cell facility. Cell um, um, Alpha Beta uh, 10. I, I spoke on a one-way communication to her and she reacts it. Yet yes. there she is on the table. Yes, she's the one you... Uh, you um, Went and got, yes. Yes. Indeed. Uh, huh. And, That's interesting. Um, yes. So, I, the question I asked her was whether she had any close relations. And obviously, I don't trust a word out of her mouth, but she did shake her head. Uh, the likeness is complete. This is, for all intents and purposes, this is Alvena Iriax. I'm wondering if her uh, her cells will say the same thing when investigated, because you've also got Alvena Iriax under lock, lock and key, and if that's the case, then I don't know. Are we talking cloning? As far as I know, that's not available to anyone outside, perhaps, the Adeptus Astartes. Joan, could you, um, could you please give me a, uh, what's the name of the skill? The same as, uh, sense motive in Pathfinder. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Christ, yes. Uh, that's a good one. Um, scrutiny, perhaps? Scrutiny, yes, scrutiny, okay. I think it is. Could you yeah, I can, scrutiny? with my grand total of 14%. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you never know. Do it! No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so... Um, I think she's wow. too wounded to notice much of anything. She is yeah. fairly badly wounded. Yeah. All right, so what I'm hearing you say is you want me to look into two things. First, investigate the uh, this, and he indicates Alvena Iriax, to see if if this corpse is identical in yes. in in genetical makeup with uh, the uh, the Alvena Iriax held in one of our cells. And then you want to um, have me look up some of the uh or see if I can cross reference and find any any of the uh the people on your scans in our I, system. I would I would not normally ask someone as high up in in the Inquisition as as yourself who you you are a part of the Inquisitor's personal retinue, I know this. But because of the apparent I identities or apparent origins of the men down there I thought the fewer people who know about it, the better. Yes. Well, I can tell you without even doing any tests that this Alvena Iriax is identical in every way to the one sitting down in our holding area. Hear it as much. Right. As that is terrifying, obviously, but what do we... Um, how do we proceed from here then? Well, first of all, we report this to uh, to the Inquisitor. Yes. So you mentioned doing a full report, and I, yes. I wholeheart wholeheartedly agree that uh, you should do so. I shall. And I'll get on the other thing then. Thank you. <laughs> I, uh, I must say, I very much, uh, I am, I am, genuinely great grateful for for your help. It is um, it is good to work with someone of of your capabilities. He he smiles clearly, uh, appreciating the uh, the compliment, um, and he just he nods and says, uh, "I'll I'll I'll get to it and I'll, I'll let you know what I find." Of course, of course, I shall go by the other Medici staff and then write up my. <laughs> She says, and, and and coughs, you know, again, leaving a red splotch on her hand, and then I'll write up my my uh, my report for the Inquisitor. Excellent, excellent. 
and she she leaves. Heads uh, and and she heads over towards the the the, the general uh, medica center sure. because you know because ow uh, yes ow <laughs> okay well she's also um, given some uh, extensive care of course um, as they they treat her wounds as well. It does. Yes. It does require her to remove her power armor. But um. she absolutely removes her power armor. She doesn't even protest. This is important, and she's you know, she she's yeah, she's wounded for goodness sake. <laughs> I don't imagine removing the power armor is particularly pleasant in her current state. No, nope. uh, not particularly. But again, you know, needs most, and the devil drives. Yep, and doing anything in her current state is 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 painful. Yes. yes. So as as luck or fate would have it, um, you are all uh, situated uh, near each other, so you can actually communicate if if you want to do so. Um, uh, so yeah. Yes. Well, once she's been, and it should be said that she is currently at four out of fourteen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So she's she's heavily wounded. Yes. Okay. She might uh, get to spend some time with Tim then. She absolutely does because I it'll, 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 it'll take a couple of days. Overnight, yeah. Yes, it'll take a couple of days for them to to get her yeah. back in fighting shape. Yeah. She. Uh, in the meantime, she makes sure that her armor gets um, you know holes patched up and so on because she's just taken a beating. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. She uh, just yeah uh, stays on. Uh, well, there is one thing she asks for while she's on her back and getting mm -hmm. treated. She really would like to have a confessor come by if there is time. Uh, there absolutely is. Um, she can always uh, see if Drill Abbott uh, Esos, Ven Esos Vens is available. He's he's the uh, yeah the ecclesiarch he attached to uh, to absolutely the, yeah. If if he is available, she would very much like to talk to him. He's a he is a, a, a comforting kind of presence for her because he has, as I understand it, he has actually been uh, um, uh, assisting with you know the kids from the Scola Progenium as well. So yes. Yes, I, uh, I I do ask if he's, you know, able. Yeah, to he 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 is he's uh, able and willing. Yes. Well, when he's there, then she will. Uh, she will obviously. She wants to confess uh, uh, any you know sins perceived or otherwise that she might have have done specifically because that experience down in the um, in in the crawl space. Mm -hmm. was um, incredibly uh, unpleasant and um, and uh, uh, because she has not yet had a chance to talk to the uh, she doesn't say this but the point is that because she has still not had a chance to talk to the inquisitor herself she hasn't had a chance to hand over that piece of, of um, that, that she brought with her but she has she, she would ask the 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 drill abbot to please let the inquisitor know that we have um that we have something very important for her specifically uh, he he agrees to do so yes uh, no problem and and he does hear everything else she yes he wants to confess so so, yeah. so Francesca spends some time with him and then eventually yes. he leaves of yeah of course could Tim also have a few some time with him because you know he also got some corruption and that was nasty oh yes yeah absolutely you you all can for that matter so um, yeah okay. even even good man, that man good man that man yes he he takes all the time you need um, to, to listen you. to your confessions and uh, then eventually he does he does leave and uh, and, and you have the room to yourselves and the the various medikai wondering in and out of the of the of the room. That there are more questions now than when we went down there. At least they're different questions. 
Only some of them. We still don't know who these people really are, or at least who they work for. Uh, um, Chief Medikai Mons is looking into the identities of the ones we scanned. This is obviously... Well, this is, this is incredibly serious. We do know that they do have a tendency to use vehicles in their attempts at killing us. Well, yeah. They must have access to some kind of motor pool, I guess. Oh, sorry, uh, Akalon, you were saying. No, it's all right. Um, we've also had an answer to a question we didn't even know to ask, and that there is a genuine connection where at least I didn't, maybe we all didn't see, uh, between what's happening here in the Hive and what happened in our very first mission back on Sofano Luna. Yes. I mean, I wasn't we, expecting that. I don't think any of us actually expected that, but you're absolutely right. It's, it is, yes, very clearly. Uh, um, and I'm curious uh, as to the nature of these artifacts we've covered, found two so far. Uh, well, how soon do you think it will be before we find more, indeed all of them? Well, that's a very good question. Is it even a good idea to bring these unholy things into such close proximity to each other? Another good question. I believe that there is little alternative in this case. We cannot leave them out there uh, to be uh, to be found and used by mm. uh, by the unknowing uh, masses. That is an even greater risk. If they are safe anywhere, it is in the vaults of the Inquisition, where they can be securely stored and locked away individually, if, if needs be. But I am actually very concerned about your visions and, and how these objects that you see in the visions seem to correspond with what we are finding. Because that leads me to think that when we have all ten, if we ever get to have all ten, um, something significant, something very, very major is going to happen. Mm. And I do pray that we, before we get, so, get that far, that we will know more about what it is we might be facing, because your visions of black armored skeletons uh, aside, that is not very that is not very precise no it's not much to go on and although i mean it's a terrifying image obviously there's no question and i believe that's the intention of it but it's something to well it is something to consider isn't it yes but we will continue to search, and we will continue to find things and fight these enemies, uh, wherever they may come from, whoever may be supporting them. Absolutely. How does the saying go? Carry the Emperor's will as your torch, and with it, destroy the shadows. That is, an excellent, that is an excellent use of that proverb, but yes, you are absolutely right. We are we are faced by we are faced by an evil. None of us imagined the existence of before we started on this um, on this process on this journey um, together, mm. and it is. It is an, in every way, um, uh, disturbing situation. I mean, none of us, none of us are, are ever prepared. No, no one is ever prepared to face some of the things we have been facing. Um, and yet we are still here. But I must confess, I am very, very concerned for Medea. 
she was clearly extremely uh, severely affected by what happened in the call space and I am very very concerned for her for her soul quite frankly there are things that the Inquisition and the confessors and the various ecclesiarchy representatives within the tricorn could do but are you suggesting there is something we might be able to no i'm i'm honestly uh, i i do believe that all we can do is insist that she spends a lot of time um with with um the drill abbot and probably with other members of the ecclesiarchy and that she is purified extensively judging and from her expression i'd say she'd be quite willing to agree she's i hope so the normal but, e but even let's just assume for a second that she does so even so i don't think she's ever going to be able to get rid of all of that no. The dangers of the job, I suppose. Indeed. Corruption is one of those things that will leave its mark on you for the rest of your life. But yes, we must it help. We must have faith that the worst of it can be purged. I'm thinking, if the two of you are going to need, as I'm sure you are, extensive time over the next few days to recover, I might always see Medea receiving the help she needs to soothe her soul. I, I would I would take that as a as a great kindness if you would. Um, mm. I also yeah. think that she is more likely, to be honest, she's probably more likely to 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 well to take your uh, concern to heart than mine. Perhaps. I think I think I confuse her, or I won't say frighten her because that's. I'm not sure that is it, but I do think that she. Um, she would probably li listen to me, less readily than to the rest of you, in this situation. A dangerous attitude. I agree, but in this case, it is more important to me that she gets all the help that she can get and that she is cleansed and purified to the greatest possible extent than feeling wounded on a personal level. My pride is, is let's face it, inconsequential. Uh, it's more important that she um, that she is is helped, but yes, you are right. It is a dangerous attitude to take. Yes, we'll do that then. Is there any particular research you would like me to undertake as well in this downtime we seem to have? Look into anything that can that can have any connection to this gang of 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 um cherub faced uh, um evil doers that we have been facing any any uh, um reference to uh to people wearing similar garb masks whatever in the past um would be a good place to start i would also very much um I would also be very uh, appreciative if you could look into um, uh, what is it called um, uh, previous heresies in that uh, section of the um, of of the middle hive uh, where we uh, where we've been working because it, it there is always the possibility that it is a resurgence of something that happened a thousand years ago or more. Possibly. Um, I have character. I heard you mentioned about the gang, I heard you mentioned about previous heresies, but there was a bit where it, for some reason it cut oh, out oh, quite a bit. Those were the ones that, that she mentioned. Those two were the ones. 
Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah. Okay. All right, in that case, I think I shall take my leave for now. So at this point, you all hear as you're sitting in this room being tended to, or, or maybe they they've wrapped up uh, um, their treatment of of Akalon, But you all hear alarms going off, and you hear a voice, a cold me- mechanical voice over the uh, the Vox system say, "Omega protocol, all available personnel." to the Omega chamber. And you see the uh, the servitors in the room you're in, uh, they all turn around and, and leave uh, the room, as well as the single Medikai who is also there. He also rushes out of the room, um, not even saying a single word. He just turns around and leaves. That is disturbing. That doesn't sound good. Uh, are you in a condition to walk? Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty drugged up right now. Yes. 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 At at this point, assume that uh, you have uh, you're you're under the effect of of, of stims, uh, which uh, should allow you to operate without um, penalties. Without penalties. Um, so yeah. Right. We go, and I make damn sure to um, to. Uh, uh, bring the uh, uh, the ammo pouch. Nobody is getting that in their hands except the um, except the uh, inquisitor. Yep. Actually, Heine. Yep. Uh, since we're under the effect of stims, is it possible at all that I've seen where they got them? I could take a few with me. Yes, you can readily take a few. No problem. And Tim takes uh, some of them with him because okay. he does have chem use, so he would know yes. how to use. Them. Cool. Okay, so what's the plan here? What are you going to do? Follow the other person in the direction of the uh, yes. Omega Chamber. Okay, so you you walk out into the uh, the hallways and and you move through the uh, the maze of of operating theaters and laboratories that is the uh, the Medikai facility here in the Tricon, and you eventually reach a chamber in the center of this facility. Um, um, the thing about this 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 chamber is though that uh, all the all the windows um, uh, it's it's uh, have been um, what are they, what is it called um, uh, they're all black you can't see through them yeah they're blinded yeah they're windows. blinded thank you um, so yeah right um, all, all the uh, the personnel you've uh, you've been following uh, rush into that room. It's it's uh, it's a rather large chamber. Well, uh, I, I imagine it would be. And and you have uh, standing on either side of the uh, the the entrance into this this massive chamber are two uh, two guards wearing white uh, carapace armor. Um, <laughs> uh, and yeah. and as the last medical personnel enters the chamber, they they close the door and stand in front of the entrance. Oh, it was the medical personnel only who yes. was supposed to go there. Yes, yes. You oh, I, I, it just said all available personnel. Yes, so yes, but like yeah, but uh, yeah, but personnel in of course, they don't consider you personnel. No, no, of course in, in not. This, uh, okay, fine, no problem. <laughs> well, in that case, I take my little ammo pouch and I look at everyone uh, at the others and go. That was very strange. Let's go back and wait. What's even stranger is that as you take your ammo pack, you um, you can feel it vibrate. Yeah. I I look at the others and go, okay, guys. I'm gonna ha- I'm gonna regret doing this, but I'm gonna have to go to the Inquisitor's quarters and and see if there's any chance that that she will see me. I know that, you know, going directly to her is way out of line, but she needs had to she needs to get this thing in hand. You don't have to go far, or voice you all recognize as Trina says behind you. Thank you. She's in there. Oh that's Yes. That's so she is She's the reason for this Omega Protocol. Yes. 
Omega, Omega Protocol is Medikai speak for uh, Inquisitor coming in. Line oh. of line of fire or yes. Or line of duty. So as you, as you look at Trina, I assume at least you're you're looking at her as you speak to yeah, her. Yeah, you, you can see that she's also she's also wounded. She has uh, she's she's got a lot of cuts in in her face and and she's been hit with with some kind of solid projectile. Um, Emperor, for goodness sakes, Trina, come with us to the to the the. Uh, oh, at least come and lie down while we wait for someone to to be able to attend to your wounds as well. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. But I I will go with you. Would you like a stim? She smiles at this and 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 extends her hand. And says, yes, please, if you have one. <laughs> well, he hands for one because I mean. He brought it. Yeah, <laughs> she uses it, and and it it has an effect. Of course, she she doesn't feel the pain as as she did. So actually, how many did I take? I say you take th you took three. Yeah, okay, three. I'll just note those two extra down then. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, on the way back, um, she says, uh, or oh, Francesca looks at Trina again and says, uh, "I'm not going to ask." what happened because that is none of my business but i am going to say that we have been at least somewhat successful in what we were sent to do and as a result we have something in hand that needs to go under lock and key yes i imagine you do um so you said you weren't going to ask but i'm still going to tell you the Inquisitor and I were on were on a mission off planets and um, we were investigating the uh, the same strange items you've been investigating the jet black ones who seem to defy gravity yes yes we found one of them in the mouth of a witch the witch is dead um, but we brought the item back. We also brought Elvena Eriax back with us after after I killed her. Except she's also still sitting in her cell. <sighs> yes. And I fear that may not be the last time you meet an Elvena Eriax. She is a product, or they are product of chaos sorcery. Emperor protects. <laughs> Indeed, Emperor protects. What's worse is that one of these items is has been embedded in the uh, the forehead of our dear Inquisitor. That is very serious indeed. Yes. And I assume, uh, Francesca says, and, and completely neutral and 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 serious and businesslike. So this, I assume, in that case, that until we have complete confirmation that there is no ill effect of whatever they uh, the the medical personnel is doing in there, that you will be acting in the Inquisitors. Instead, that you will be, you will be the highest ranked um, figure of authority that we will answer to. I hesitate to use the word inquisitor because obviously that requires a very specific uh, set of circumstances. Yes, I am not an inquisitor. Exactly. But you are correct. Until you hear otherwise, until they, until some other inquisitor takes over this, this whole matter, then, yes. We shall be answering to you. Yes. Well, in that case, she says and holds out the ammo pouch. Then this belongs in your hands rather than mine. <laughs> she, she, you see that she's not particularly um, fond of the idea of of. Of taking this item from you, um, but she does take it. She does take the ammo pack, and then she says, "Yes." Well, I see you. You're all. 
you've all seen better days. It was a very, a very serious battle. It led to the destruction of a hat block. Um, it was. Um, it ended up blowing up after two cultists drove a truck apparently laden with explosives into the building. We barely managed to escape with our lives and with the corpse of an Elvena Iriax that I had just killed. And, of course, a lot of Auspex readings for the other cultists, all of whom were unusually healthy, well-fed, and fit for middle hivers. So a noble class, then. Indeed. All of them. All right. Well, here's what I suggest we do. You three make sure to get some rest and let the Medici uh, look after you. There will, there will be more Medici uh, here yes. to attend yes. to you. We are not important, the Inquisitor is. Well, in, at this point in time, you really are quite, quite important. Um, in any event, get some rest, let them attend to you, and then we'll talk once you're ready. Yes, ma'am. Good. She um, goes back to the. Uh, she goes back to her bed, <laughs> <laughs> lies down, and probably, despite herself, when she lies down, there is probably out through gritted teeth a very small. Ow. Okay. And what about Akalon and Tim? What do you do? Uh, well, Tim gives uh, her a respectful nod and goes to get some rest as well. Okay. I assume at least that he's not been informed that he's not allowed to sleep. <laughs> no, I, I think it's a good idea if people do get some sleep because, you oh, know, the main thing is that I yes. really get that yeah. a concussion and in that case you're not supposed to sleep. No. So, uh, you, you, you are allowed to sleep. Yes, Akalon will again also show the proper respect to uh, Trina and then he'll uh, he'll probably make his way to check up on Medea before turning in. In fact, if if it's possible, he might actually. Actually, no. I think I think I don't know. I think she can, she can be trusted to be left with them. Right? Okay. And she's been checked on. So yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, Medea is is well physically. She's she's fine. She's. Uh, she's with uh, the drill abbot, who also spent some time with with you guys earlier on, uh, earlier during the day, um, and so she's in capable hands at least. That's good. Uh, that's that's the main thing. Then I think Jacqueline will. Uh, yes, we'll go. Out, we'll actually go and get some sleep. <laughs> that's probably a good idea. Okay, so you get some sleep, and and uh, Sister Francesca and Tim also get some sleep, and so we fast forward to the next day, where yes. you all wake up, and for you two who are in in the uh, the Medici facility, you uh, awaken to uh, uh, to a um, Trina standing uh, beside you, um, uh, beside uh, Tim specifically, um, looking down at him. Good morning. I've heard it's rude to watch people while they sleep. Yes, as I'm high, but I don't really care. Yeah. I how, do, how, how do you feel? Like I got hit by a truck yesterday. Hmm. And I, I heard you did indeed get hit by a truck yesterday, so that seems yes. rather fitting. Yeah, I get to add that to my list of accomplishments. Yes, indeed you do. So what's the situation? The situation is as follows: the uh, the Medici staff have worked on on our Inquisitor throughout the nights. She is uh, she is uh, not in any mortal danger. So they've they've done their job well, um, and now the sanctioned psychers have uh, have taken over and are in the Omega chamber with her. Uh, that's that's the situation right now. Sounds as good as one could hope for. Yes, indeed. 
at least physically, she is uh, she's not uh, she's not in critical condition. She no. will she will live. Yeah, at least until her psyche is determined, then that might be another case entirely. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. How are you holding up? Oh, tired. That makes all the sense in the world, really. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I've I've had the uh, the I wouldn't say honor, and, but I've I've been having meetings with some of the other inquisitors here in the Tricon, uh, talking about the situation, and uh, so that's been a thing, and I have to say, inquisitors. And she leans. She leans in a bit towards. Toward <laughs> Inquisitors are incredibly dry people. Lost in all their inquisitorial legalese and. Ah, uh, uh, so you came for a bit of dry humor then. I did, and you delivered. He's good at that. <laughs> he really is, isn't he? I think. I think that's actually what he says. Well, I'm good at that. <laughs> Well, that's what what uh, <laughs> Francesca, Francesca does. Ch oh, chimed in with. No, no, that's what she chimes in with from her bed. We were close. Uh, yeah. We placed close next yep. to each other. So, yep, yep. yes, he has a tendency to do that even when under fire. <laughs> that's a quality in and of itself, I think. I absolutely agree. I think it speaks uh, very, very highly of his uh, calm under fire. Yes. Anyway, I'll leave you two to it. You still have some healing to go through, I see. Um, yes. So. So yes, she so, she nods and says uh, to you both. Uh, hmm? By by the way, I, this is uh, just an out of character question, but is it possible for Francesca to actually work on her report while she is being, you know, laid in bed? Yes. Yes, it is. It is good because then that's obviously what she would want to get back to because. That's important. Yes. yes, and I also just noticed the ta the time, and I think we'll take our f our final break, and then yep. we'll. I have one thing to add. Okay, let's hear uh, I, I Tim will 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 say that if she finds the time, which she doubts, she's more than welcome to come back and keep him company. <laughs> okay. Oh dear, he's <laughs> flirting with the next inquisitor. He when he says that she just she nods uh, to to the uh, to the uh, the sister of battle and then uh, to to Tim and says Emperor protects Emperor protects and then Emperor she protect. and then she she walks out and then we stop the recording. Mm -hmm.